Hi guys, welcome to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. And in this video today, I'm going to be finally sharing the story about the time I auditioned for the German version of The Voice. And I actually made it through the open castings in Frankfurt, I was invited to the callback auditions in Berlin, and that my friends is when it all turned pear-shaped. I had the most disastrous audition ever and I thought I would share this with you guys because you know why not make a fool of myself on YouTube. So what a lot of people actually don't know about The Voice is that all of the people you see, the contestants on the blind auditions, they have had to go through a long audition process before they make it onto TV to the blind auditions. So all of these people on the blind auditions, they're not just randoms who have walked in and auditioned, they have actually made the cut so that's why you only see pretty good singers at the blind auditions auditions. So anyway, what made me decide to audition for The Voice? I love to sing. Most of you guys don't even know that, but that is one of my biggest hobbies, singing. I am not a professional, not even close, but I just love to sing. And when I was at high school, the way that I made my pocket money, instead of working at Burger King or at Subway like my friends did, I actually used to sit on the street, play my guitar and sing. In New Zealand, we call it busking. I was only like 15, 16 years old. I would just plonk myself down in front of a shop start singing, playing guitar, and sometimes I would earn a couple of hundred dollars in about an hour, so it was pretty good money back then. When I got to university, I was in an acoustic duo with my friend Hamish, and we would play in pubs and restaurants, private functions, parties. We would do this almost every weekend, so that was how I earned my pocket money through university. And when I first came to Germany, I actually played in a couple of restaurants and wineries and things like that, so that was really fun. I still miss you while you take so soon There's a weight in my heart that these years just won't consume Flown over oceans, traveled to far lands But you stay in my heart, you come with me wherever I am when I first came to Germany, I remember watching The Voice of Germany on TV and I was addicted. I just absolutely loved that show and I felt like the people on there were really, really good. And my husband kept saying to me, why don't you audition? And I said, no, 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 I would never make it onto The Voice. And I was totally doubting myself, but he was like the one pushing me to audition for The Voice. So a couple of years later, I remember seeing the open castings on TV. It was for season five of The Voice. This was two 2015 I think yes 2015 and I decided what the heck I'm just going to audition for the voice and see how it goes I don't have to tell anybody about it so I just decided to audition so I signed up on the voice of Germany website I organized my audition time in Frankfurt and I had to pick three potential audition songs one of them had to be without any backing music and I I chose Uninvited by Alanis Morissette and then two of the songs had to be with some kind of backing, it could either be an instrument or like a backing track and I decided that I was going to take my guitar along to the audition. I chose an Ed Sheeran song and a Lana Del Rey song and I practiced and I practiced. So anyway, my husband Rob and I, we went to Frankfurt for the audition, my in-laws were looking after my little girl Amelia and I was just absolutely shocked when I turned up because there were just so many people lined up for this audition and I was thinking, I don't know if I can do this, this is crazy. And I had to sit in this waiting room packed with all of these people like practicing and I was so intimidating. I just felt really out of place. So basically they were calling people into the audition room in groups and I can't quite remember how many people had to go in at a time but I think it was around 10 and I remember it was my turn to go in and we were all lined up and we had to sing our song without music, without any backing music, and we had to sing like a verse and a chorus of the song. They didn't have time to hear the whole song, and I just remember almost shaking. I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I 
don't know if I can do this. And so I was the last one in the line. And so everybody, you know, they sang, boom, boom, boom. There was actually two judges that were, you know, deciding whether you were going to go forward or not. And when it got to my turn, I felt like I did pretty well. I was quite happy with how it all went. So after everybody had sung their songs, I remember waiting and the judges were talking. And then finally they announced that two people from our group had made it through to the next audition round. And I was one of those people. I couldn't believe it. And I was just like, what? Are you sure? Um, so yeah, I went through to the next audition round. So the next audition round was actually the same day straight after the first audition round. And this was when we had to sing a song with either the backing track or an instrument. And so I went into an audition with some people from like different groups. And I can't remember how many there were. I think it may be about five of us. And so this audition round was a little bit more kind of professional. There were two different ladies watching and we had to be like hooked up to a microphone, there was a cameraman there and we had to sing both of the songs that we had picked out. Anyway it was my turn, I remember being so nervous that my hands were shaking and I remember thinking this is a bad idea that I brought my guitar along, I probably should have used a backing track like everybody else. But anyway, um, I went through the two songs and they went okay, but I just remember my hands were just sweaty and just, I didn't play the guitar very well at all. So when everybody had finished performing, we had to wait, the judges were chatting and then they all gave us feedback. And I remember when it got to my turn, they said that they thought I had a really beautiful singing voice but they didn't think that my guitar skills matched my voice. <laughs> and you know, no surprise because I was just so, so incredibly nervous. I feel like I didn't play the guitar as well as I could have. But anyway, everybody from our group went through to the next round. So that was awesome. We were all just like jumping for joy. It was so exciting. And yeah, so the next round was actually on the same day also. Okay, so the last audition round for the open castings, this is when it got kind of crazy. My whole group from my previous audition round those were the people who I was competing with and they were all so so good so I had really really tough competition in this group and anyway when I walked into this audition room I was like okay now this is what an audition looks like there was a whole panel of judges and these all looked like really sort of professional showbiz kind of people it was kind of intimidating but I thought hey I got through the last two audition rounds I feel like I'm just gonna really go for it I just like belted out these two songs, my hands went shaking, I felt like I played the guitar pretty well and I kind of felt like the judges enjoyed it. I could tell by their faces that they enjoyed, you know, listening to me. So that was really cool. So anyway, after everybody had performed their two songs, we had to all go out of the room while the judges discussed who was going to make it through to the callback auditions in Berlin. And we were called back into the audition room. We all had to stand in a line and the judges didn't give us any feedback, but they basically said to us that two people out of our group had made it through to the callback auditions. I was one of them. I couldn't believe it. It was just so exciting and I I just I just couldn't believe it. Okay, so let's get to the callback auditions in Berlin. This is when it starts to all go a little bit pear-shaped. So in that time, everything was organized just kind of through email and I was sent a contract. I was sent all of the information about, you know, the Voice of Germany auditions and that kind of thing and they were kind of slowly preparing us for this audition. I had to sign a massive contract. I think it was something like a hundred pages that I had to go through all in German so I had to go through it I had to make sure my husband read it all through my husband's a native German speaker so he could understand it a lot better than me and um, I just kind of felt like I was almost signing my life away it was crazy I still to this day am not allowed to talk about what was in that contract so anyway I had to start preparing myself for the Berlin auditions and this is when it all turned a little bit pear-shaped because I was sent through an email with a whole lot of different artists of musicians and I was asked to pick out I think it was about 10 of these musicians that I really like they didn't tell me why they just said I had to pick out 10 of them I think it was 10 it might have been five I can't remember but anyway so I picked out the artist that I like and then a couple of weeks later I got a message to say these are your songs that you have to sing for the audition and it was three songs that they had picked out 
from the list of people that I like, you know, the musicians that I like. Oh my gosh guys, so the song that they picked out for me, one of the songs was Alanis Morissette, Thank You. This is one of the hardest songs to sing. It is completely out of my vocal range. The other song that they picked out was T-Shirt by Birdie and Lost Stars by Adam Levine. Those songs were absolutely fine. I could sing them perfectly fine. It was the Alanis Morissette song that was completely out of my vocal range. So anyway, I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I just could not get that note at the end of the chorus of the Alanis Morissette song. It was just so hard and I think I drove my husband and my daughter crazy practicing that song. So anyway, I was messaging the people from The Voice of Germany and asking them if I could please change that song and swap it for something else and they said no, that this is a test so you know, I just keep working at that song and about a week before the audition I finally managed to get that note and I was like, okay, I think I can do this. Okay guys, so it was finally time for the big Berlin audition. I was so incredibly nervous, mainly because of that damn Alanis Morissette song. I didn't know if I could pull it off. But anyway, Rob and I, we drove up to Berlin for the night. My little girl Amelia stayed at my in-laws place. She was three at the time. It was the first time I'd ever been away from her overnight. So I was kind of nervous about that. But also I was just nervous in general about just the whole audition and I was like, what am I doing? Anyway, I got to the audition and it was crazy. There was security there and it was just a whole kind of different scale to the audition in Frankfurt. The people that were there, they all just looked kind of like professional showbiz kind of people. And I just felt sort of out of my comfort zone. I didn't feel like I belonged there at all. I thought kind of, what am I doing? I felt like almost like a a fraud coming along to this audition and then I just thought okay these people are probably just as nervous as me they're probably just regular people like me I should just go for it try and put my nerves behind me and you know just nail this audition all of the contestants were given a number we had to wear like the sticker on our chest and we all had to go through these different kind of audition rounds before we got to the part where we actually had to sing I remember we had to go into one room where we had to learn about how to deal with the press and things like that you know if we happen to get through onto the blind auditions and you know how to how to deal with interviews and things like that then we had to go to another room and talk to a stylist and we had to to like discuss what we might want to wear at the blind auditions and then we had to go into a room where we had to practice our audition songs with some vocal coaches so the moment of truth my name was called I walked into that audition room and there was this panel of professional looking judges and there was cameras there were lights there was just everything it was like the full blown deal the judges were actually really nice really friendly really upbeat they instantly kind of relaxed me a little bit when they started talking to me so that was you know a good sign but then they asked me to sing that Alanis Morissette song first and I was thinking why why did they pick that song first so I remember the backing track starting and I opened my mouth to sing and nothing would come out you know one of those nightmares that you have where you know you want to talk or you want to scream or something and nothing comes out that was literally what happened and so I just said can I please start again and they were really nice they said I could start again and so the second time round, I opened my mouth and, you know, something did come out, but it didn't sound very good. <laughs> my throat, it felt like sandpaper. It just, I don't know, I just, for some reason, I just, I couldn't sing properly. So anyway, I kept going. And then I got to that damn note, you know, that note at the end of the chorus. And I just went something like, Ugh. honestly, that's what it sounded like. I just, I don't know what came over me. I, I don't know where that sound came from. It just, it just came out. And I remember looking up and looking at the judges and they just kind of gave me this look like you have totally blown this. We don't even want to hear the next songs. And so anyway, that was it. You know, I totally blew my chances with that song. They did let me sing the other few songs, but I was so traumatized by that Alanis Morissette song that I just had kind of like come to terms with the fact that I had blown this audition. And so the second the second songs were not any better. Well, maybe a little bit better, but you know, they weren't anything great. So I just remember thinking, no, I don't even need to wait for an answer. I have totally blown this. But anyway, they said, thank you very much. They didn't give me any feedback, but I could tell they looked kind of disappointed. I was so incredibly disappointed with myself. 
and anyway I went back home and I had to wait for I think it was a couple of months before I heard a reply so I just I knew that I wasn't going to get through but I thought maybe you know the other songs were okay or maybe they looked back at my old audition tapes and saw that I can actually sing that this was just you know the, the nerves took over but at the bottom of my heart I knew that I had blown this audition sure enough a few months later I got an email to say sorry you didn't make it through to the blind auditions thank you so much for you know participating in the auditions and blah 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 I was so upset like I think I cried for a second and then I got over it I was like okay I didn't deserve to get through and I let my nerves take over and I, I felt like I probably could have maybe got through if it wasn't for the nerves um, and that was that <laughs> So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, feel free to follow me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye!